mining has been present in our world for many centuries. Laws have been made to prevent this dangerous labor. But we can still see child miners among us today. The dangers for children in this labor include explosions, rock falls, and tunnel collapses. They often breathe air filled with toxic gases. Child miners are most commonly found in coal, tin, gold, and diamond mines. In the mines, especially the coal mines, the kids have jobs such as pulling carts and opening gates. All because they needn't be paid, all because of their small figures. The average lifespan for a child miner in the 1900s was 48 years old. The fatality rate is roughly twice the rate it is for other laborers in the agricultural industry. In 1885, a law was passed to prevent boys younger than 12 to work in the coal breakers and younger than 14 to work inside the mines. In 1902, another law raised the age to 14 to work in the breakers. On April 9, 1912, the Children's Borough was created within the Department of Commerce and Labor. On March 4, 1913, it was moved to the brand new Department of Labor and the first federal child labor law was signed by President Woodrow Wilson on September 1, 1916. Although these laws were effective, Many mines could pass boys off as small for their age. And currently, child mining is still found in Africa, Asia, and South America. <laughs>